Hey, you folks, I just got word that Tanya Knight died. Now, you are probably saying who's Tanya Knight, unless you also came here because you know who Tanya Knight was, or really arguably is, and like I am, are very sad. Tanya Knight was why I became a female bodybuilding fan. And I remember picking up a magazine called Women's Physique World and becoming a regular reader because it was available on newsstands then. They had those things, right? Still do. And there was one particular photograph that was Tanya Knight. And she looked like, I think the best way to describe Ta Tanya Knight as she was the Don Wells of female bodybuilding. Now, Don Wells was the actress who played Marianne in Gilligan's Island, right? You know, girl next door, beautiful, feminine, and obviously athletic. Or if you like muscular. A buffed woman, as we say. A hot, buffed woman, right? Well, that was Tanya Knight. Just drop-dead gorgeous. She always stood out as one of the models in my mind of what a woman should look like. You know? Beautiful feminine, strong. And, well, I was thinking of a woman that looked like that who was also a Texas Arlington, who was a gymnast. I'm not even going to bother to drop her name. I'll leave her out of that for this. But <laughs> uh, Tanya Knight died of cancer at 56, February 7th. I happened to see a headline pop up and I froze. I, I just froze. It's a stark reminder of the passage of time. I'm 60. Yeah. And it didn't even occur to me that she was actually younger than me. I, for some reason, I thought she was older. And I thought maybe she was you know, outside my realm of reach. No. So all that realization just came hitting me in the head, right? Wow. She was in my sphere, right? But she passed away of cancer. That is my biggest fear. I don't know what cancer. I don't know how long she put up with that terrible thing. I don't know what her diet was like. I don't know if she was still a bodybuilder. I remember seeing something about her a few years ago, like maybe 10, and thinking, wow, she still got it. Um, but, and that would have placed her at about, what, 46 years old? But 56 is too young. 56 years old is too young to die. 76, 86, 96. And for somebody who's a bodybuilder, you would think, yeah, right? Not 56. I don't know what happened. I'll... But I just want to say that Tanya Knight was why I became a female bodybuilding fan. She was the perfect female bodybuilder outside of Corey Evers at the time. Now we have Teresa Vansick and Blackley Ortega and Melinda Mark and uh, Victoria Vidnoya, if she ever gets back into bodybuilding. But, oh, uh, We've got also Iris Kyle, Renee Marvin, Christy Hawkins. I haven't seen Christy in a long time. She's smart lady. Great smart lady on top of everything else. Um, there's Linda Murray, of course, and whew, Monique Lewis. Wow, it's many thousands. And it's great to see that women's bodybuilding has expanded to become mainstream 
and that's thanks to women like I uh, like Tanya Knight. Uh, I'm I'm just shocked. Just shocked. <laughs>